Assalamualaikum students. Uh, welcome to another walkthrough from UA Code 127.0.0.1. Students, in my today lecture, I am going to work on game zone walkthrough from Try Hack Me. Uh, today, you are going to learn about SQL map and different techniques to crack passwords, and uh, uh, we will also learn about uh, reveal services using reverse shell tunnel and uh, privilege escalation. This room is all about uh, SQL injection. So students uh, keep in touch with me during my whole uh, lecture definitely you will learn about uh, some new stuff in my this lecture as you can see a uh, target machine is running and my attacker machine is also open so uh, let's move to the uh, question section the question uh, first question is that what is the name of large cartoon that is uh, 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 present uh, uh, holding a sniper on the phone Okay, I move to my browser window and try to browse my uh, this target machine in order to know actually which services are uh, running on this uh, uh, port 80. When I browse this, uh, you can see a very nice look of this website is present here. Uh, 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 some uh, login page is present here and then uh, you can also register yourself as well. Search option is also present here. Uh, so I have to answer about the name of this question. I am going to right click and then view ba uh, background image. And I am going to save this image into my local machine. Okay, uh, students, uh, you can use the reverse image search in order to uh, find the detail about this image. So I type here reverse uh, image. And right now I am using uh, uh, this reverse uh, uh, search image. Uh, I am going to upload this image. Okay, uh, uh, some uh, reference websites are uh, uh, open here. You can uh, check all these in order to find uh, the file name of this image. I am going to open first one, second as well. And then other uh, reference link as well okay if i uh, scroll down to name uh, uh, here you can see uh, the file name is agent for uh, 47 so, uh, uh, I hope uh, the uh, answer of this question is Agent 47. The name of this uh, image is Agent 47. Other name is also present here, but uh, students, when I try this one and try to submit this in, uh, here, uh, then uh, my answer is not correctly submitted. When I try Agent 47 in answer section, then my answer is submit successfully. So, I guess uh, the correct answer is Agent 47. Let's move to the uh, task 2. Okay, in this task, you will understand more about SQL structure query language and how you can potentially manipulate uh, queries to communicate with database. Students, uh, a query is present here. Uh, you can see uh, this query actually select all user, uh, all uh, user uh, from this table where the username is username and the password is password. In our game zone machine, when you attempt to login in, it will take you in, uh, inputted values from our user name and password and then insert them directly into the above query. Students, if uh, if I input here my name and uh, my password, then definitely my query will uh, send to backend database and then this query will execute in order to uh, log in uh, to, the, uh, to this uh, database. Okay, if we have our username as admin and our password is this one, it will insert this into the query and authenticate our session. Guys, if I try the username is admin, I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it here. And in password place, I'm going to try this payload and hit enter. Okay, uh, it will insert this into the query and authenticate our session. Right now, this query is not executed correctly. 
okay uh, students if i try this payload as uh, as a user name and in play, place of password if i type some uh, password and hit enter now you can see i am successfully logged into uh, this uh, login page by using this payload as a username actually uh, in this payload you can see uh, uh, single uh, quote is used and then or option is used and then this one it's mean the rest of uh, this query will become comment and uh, we are, are uh, successfully log into the uh, uh, this page okay uh, the next question is that what you have logged in uh, when you have logged in what page do you get redirected to students uh, in url you can see portal.php is the page so the answer of this question is portal uh, portal dot php let's move to the task 3 students in this task uh, you will learn about sql map basically uh, it's a open source uh, automatic sql injection and database takeover tool you can uh, it is pre installed in kali linux you can also download it uh, from this link right now i'm not going to download this okay uh, i'm going to also open the burp suite in order to capture my request login request Just like a monkey I've been dancing my whole life But you just back to see me dance But sweet is uh, going to open it will take some time time Uh, students there are different types of SQL injection boolean type time based and uh, rest of other SQL injections are also present you can uh, read all detail about these injection from google We are going to use SQL map to dump the entire database of game zone using the page we logged into earlier we are going to point SQL map to the game review search feature First we need to intercept a request made to search feature using verb feed Okay I'm going to uh, set the proxy by clicking on preferences and move to settings. Here uh, I type one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one and then port eighty eighty. use this proxy for all protocols and hit enter okay proxy is on and now uh, i'm going to capture uh, my uh, this request into burp suite if i type here test and hit enter students you can see my request is uh, captured here okay If I try uh, some payloads here, I think proxy is open. That's why it's not. Browse my request. Okay, uh, students. So you can see uh, when I uh, try this payload, some uh, information I can also extract. If I type here test and uh, move to my uh, intercept, mark it on and uh, search. You can see a request is captured here. I am going to copy this, move to my terminal window, 
Hey, right, right. Nano request dot txt and hit enter. I'm going to paste all this uh, all this request here and save it. You can see uh, a request dot txt file is present here. Now I'm going to use the SQL map in order to uh, dump some information. I uh, try, uh, write here SQL map and then hyphen R and then file name that is request.txt and then I will use hyphen hyphen dbms and then my SQL and then hyphen hyphen done and hit enter uh, students if I talk about uh, this query here I use hyphen r so it's basically uh, it will uh, use to intercept it requested you saved earlier you can see this is my uh, request that I saved earlier so I use hyphen r switch that is the intercepted my earlier request and then I, I use hyphen hyphen dbms switch Actually, it tells the SQL map what type of database management it is. You can see hyphen hyphen dbms is MySQL. This is the MySQL database that I want to dump. And then I use hyphen hyphen dump switch. It will attempt to output the entire database. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. You can see SQL map started uh, working. Here you can see testing for SQL injection on post parameter search item. We are uh, performing SQL injection on search item. For the remaining test, do you want to include all the tests? Uh, right now, I'm going to click yes and hit enter. You can see post parameter search item is my SQL, this one. You can uh, see students here, post parameter search item is vulnerable. This is present here. Do you want to keep testing the others? Right now, I'm not interested uh, to test other parameters. So I typed here no and hit enter. Uh, students, uh, here you can see fetching current database. The name of current database is this one, DB. Actually, this is the name of current database okay uh, fetching column for table user you can see this is the table that is present in this database okay uh, do you want to store hash to a temporary file for uh, eventual for uh, uh, further processing with other tools right now no and hit enter okay uh, students here you can see database name is present in front of me. The table name is also present. Username is this one and the hash value of this user is present here. I'm going to copy this hash value, move to my browser window and try to crack this by using crack station. You can uh, crack password by using hash cat as well and uh, then John wrapper tool as well okay uh, some certificate error is present here i'm going to my window and if i typed here crack station and paste the hash value here that is this one I'm going to copy, paste it here and uh, try to crack this. Okay, uh, student, you can see when I crack this, the result of uh, present here, video gamer 124. Actually, this is the password for this hash. 
okay and now uh, uh, i uh, i know the username the password is as well so i am able to ssh into my target machine let's move to the question sql map will now try different methods and identify the uh, one that's vulnerable eventually it will output the database in the user table what is the hash password you can see the hash password is this one you can copy it from here and uh, paste to the answer section what was the username associated with this password the username is agent47 okay uh, what was the other table name now it's time to find actually uh, the other table name if i try it here this query hyphen d and then db and then hyphen hyphen tables and hit enter okay uh, right now it fetched the other table name that is post there are two tables are present in this database one is users and other is post so the answer of this question is post okay uh, let's move to the task 4 crack a password with john rapper uh, right now uh, i'm not uh, use the john rapper tool but you can uh, use this tool this is pre installed in kali linux you can also download it uh, from uh, google What is the hash password? As you can see, the hash password is Video Gamer One Twenty Four. So the answer of this question is Video Gamer One Twenty Four. What is the user flag? Uh, students, as you know, uh, right now I have password and username as well. Now I am going to try uh, uh, try the SSH into this target machine. Okay, I typed here SSH and then. Uh, Agent four seven at the rate of IP address that is ten ten six zero ten dot ten dot six dot eight zero and hit enter. Okay, uh, the IP address is eight. and hit enter okay uh, 60.8 and hit enter yes the password is uh, this one i'm going to copy this here okay uh, students you can see i'm successfully now uh, ssh to this uh, uh, target machine that is agent 47 if i type here ls cat user dot txt and hit enter a user flag is present here i am going to copy and paste to the answer okay uh, let's move to the task 5 exposing services with reverse ssh tunnel students uh, now i am going to teach you about reverse ssh tunnel Here you can see a picture is present in front of me. Two, uh, three hosts are present here. Host A, it's a user computer. Host C is a server, and then gateway is a host B. Firewall is also present here. Reverse SSH port forwarding specifies that the given port on a remote server uh, server host is to be forwarded to given host uh, on the port on a local side. Basically, now I'm going to uh, going for po uh, port forwarding. okay uh, you can use uh, this uh, in order to uh, port for, uh, forwarding hyphen l is a local tunnel if a, uh, if a site was blocked you can forward the traffic to a server you on and view it right uh, students basically uh, uh, if uh, someone block my uh, request then i will use uh, reverse uh, shell tunnel in order to uh, gain the access uh, to my concern uh, website in this way you can see some example is present here going to the local host 
here you can see uh, basically uh, this is the user its request going to the port that is 9000 we will uh, uh, will load uh, this traffic using other server right now students i am going to use a tool that is ss, uh, SS tool uh, basically uh, you can use uh, this tool in order to investigate uh, how many sockets are running uh, to a host so uh, if i type here ss and hit enter okay if i type here this command and hit enter right now uh, students you can see uh, basically ss uh, tool display all the uh, sockets that are uh, running on this machine you can see udp and then tcp there are five tcp sockets that are running uh, on this machine and two are udp students you can uh, use the different argument with this tool you can use hyphen t it will display tcp sockets hyphen u udp and hyphen l only listening the question is that how many tcp sockets are running here you can see there are five tcp sockets that are running okay uh, we can see that a service uh, service running on the port 1000 is blocked by a firewall rule from the outside students as you see here on port uh, 10000 a service is running that is not actually shown here when i perform normal normal scan if i uh, move to my terminal okay if i type here nmap hyphen s cv 10.10.60.8 and hit enter Students, you can see uh, when I perform nmap scan, port 22 is uh, shown to me, port 80 is also show, uh, shown to me, actually these two ports are uh, running uh, PCP sockets, but port 10,000 is not displayed uh, here, it means that port is blocked by firewall, I am not able to access the content of this port. Uh, students, right now I am going to SSH tunnel. Uh, and uh, I can expo uh, expose this port locally by using SSH channel. Okay, uh, students, uh, for this purpose, I'm going to use this command. I'm going to copy it from here, move to my terminal window. Clear my screen and paste this command here. Okay, uh, I should type here username. That is agent47 and then the IP address that is 10.10.6.0.8. Zero dot eight and hit enter and the password that is video gamer one two four. Okay, uh, students, you can see I'm uh, successfully logged into this user and right now I'm able to expose a port ten thousand as locally. Uh, in this way, you can actually uh, uh, you can actually perform port scanning. Once complete in your browser, type this and you can access newly exposed web browser. Now, if I move to my browser window, okay, if I type here localhost and then localhost and then uh, port 10,000 and hit enter, students, you can see. A new web server is present in front of me uh, before that this is not shown as the firewall block my server uh, block my request on this port 
but why uh, but when i uh, perform uh, port forwarding by using this command now i am able to access the uh, services that is running on port 10000 what is the name of export cms content management system okay uh, student if i type here ss hyphen and hit enter okay if i move to my terminal window this one actually i have facing some net problem that my uh, system is work very slowly so sorry for that okay uh, now if i type here nmap hyphen s c v and then i try to uh, know about the ser uh, ser uh, server that is running on port 10000 i typed here hyphen p 10000 and now i typed here 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 .1 and hit enter Okay, uh, student. If I type here, nmap hyphen uh, scv switch, and then I know about the uh, service that is running on port ten thousand. That's why I'm using hyphen port ten thousand, and then uh, I type here uh, here uh, local IP address. That is local host IP address one twenty seven dot zero dot zero oops dot one, and hit enter. It will show me. Uh, about the uh, service that is actually uh, running on port 10000 the question was that what is the name uh, of the exposed cms okay uh, students here you can see uh, the uh, service that is uh, running on this port is uh, this one mini server and the virian is also present here and the uh, name of the exposed cms is web admin uh, web min web min the next question is that what is the virian of uh, cms you can see the virian of cms is here now uh, if i uh, try to exploit uh, this uh, service i am going to uh, try to search for Third flight, and then if I typed here, web min one point five eight zero and hit enter. You can see uh, two exploits are present here. One is this one, and other one is this. I uh, should use this one one point five eight zero. Okay. I use here search flight hyphen n and this it will copy to my local machine. If I type here ls and type here cat one point c exploit is present here. Okay, uh, I should use this one. I'm going to copy this from here and then search flight hyphen m and I typed here exploit this one and hit enter. Now it's copy to my root directory. If I type here ls, it's present here. Okay, now I typed here cat 
21.rb Okay, uh, students, you can see this file is the part of Metasploit framework and uh, name webadmin file show dot cgi remote code execution. Okay, if I try to open uh, this in my nano editor. Students, so here you can see this module exploits uh, an arbitrary command execution vulnerability. This vulnerability exists in this one. File show CGI. I am going to copy this from here. Okay, move to my browser. Okay, if I type here root. Okay, I should remove this flash from here. Oh, I should change uh, here its uh, local host. Local host and then uh, the port number is 10,000. Okay, students, right now you can see uh, I'm present here. Now if I typed here the agent 47 and then password video gamer 124 and uh, hit enter you can see uh, uh, the uh, login uh, i'm successfully logged into this web server you can uh, uh, know about the host name from here and the video number is uh, from here as well okay Now if I type this one here, okay, finally I am successfully find my root flag, this is the root flag, you can copy it from here and paste to the answer section. Okay, let's try the other method that is uh, Metasploit in order to exploit uh, this user. I'm going to close this window. Okay, I'm going to open MSF console, hit enter. Move to my browser window. Okay, if I uh, search here, women, uh, this exploit. You can see. Exploit is also present here. Wait a second, let me catch my breath. Remind me how and the CV number of this exploit is this one. Your lips are moving, I can hear okay. Living life as if we had a choice. 
now if i type here search type exploit name webmin and uh, hit enter some exploits are uh, present here right now uh, i should try this one that is cgi remote code execution so i typed here use to and hit enter and then options hit enter and uh, now i should set here our host I should set here our host that is uh, 10 dot 10 dot 60 dot 8 and then I should set uh, username that is agent 47 then set password video gamer 147 hit enter then set ssl okay if i try to show my options no 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 our host should not be like this one if i typed here set l host uh, sorry our host this one and now exploit Okay, continually error occur. Uh, if I typed here options, hit entered and try to set SSL. False. Uh, now, if I run here, exploit. Okay, uh, students, you can see uh, a session, meterpreter session is present here, but it's uh, quit uh, quickly. I'm trying to again log in. Uh, here you can see uh, two sessions are successfully created. Session one is this one, and uh, the other is. Uh, actually, uh, this is the procedure by using Metasploit. Uh, in this way, you can exploit this uh, SQL vulnerability. So, students, this is my today lecture. Uh, definitely, uh, I think uh, you learn a new uh, thing uh, about SQL injection in my this video. I will come to you with my new lecture tomorrow. Till tomorrow, Allah Hafiz and take care.